In the mail today from the good folks at Newegg is one of the new OCZ Summit Series SSD drives. Um, these actually just came to Newegg two or three days ago, so this is part of their first shipment. It's 120 gigabytes, uh, two and a half inch solid state drive. It has 128 megabytes of onboard cache and low power consumption, high shock resistance. Obviously, there's no moving, there are no moving parts. RAID support. Um, this is one of the faster drives on the market now. The drive comes nicely packaged and looks like any other drive. The first thing to do is to take a quick look at the difference between the 13-inch MacBook and the 13-inch MacBook Pro that just replaced it. To replace the hard drive on the 13-inch MacBook, it's a rather complicated process. You take off this plate, you pull out the removable battery, you unscrew one screw here, and the whole drive just pulls out and you put it back in. It is actually the easiest hard drive replacement you have ever seen in your life. It takes literally about three minutes if you're moving slowly to replace the hard drive on this 13-inch MacBook. A little bit more complicated on the new MacBook Pro. With the 13-inch MacBook Pro, because it's got the battery built in, you have one sheet of aluminum, as you know, and the battery and the hard drive and everything are under here. To get this out is a little more complicated. Not difficult, but a little more complicated. You have to take out these screws, which are all over. And we're going to take them out, stop the camera, take them out for a second, and then we'll pick it up from there. It takes about two minutes to do it. But you want to be very careful. They're small screws. You don't want to strip them taking them out, and you certainly don't want to lose any of them. So we've gotten the screws out, and the bottom comes out, and you can see the bottom is just very thin aluminum. Again, you want to be careful. So as you can see inside, it's, everything's very accessible. The RAM is there, the battery is here, the hard drive is here, very, very accessible. Um, but you also can see that, as Mitchell pointed out in his first look at his new MacBook Pro, the battery can be much larger now because it doesn't need the mechanism to allow you to remove it or to reinstall it. So it's a larger battery, higher capacity, and better technology. The hard drive is over here, and to get out the hard drive is not a difficult process, I believe. It's just this bar right here. And the hard drive just goes right out. And then you just have to carefully remove the connector on the bottom. So that's the hard drive right out, the physical hard drive. And now we're going to replace it with this SSD drive, but the next thing we need to do is actually move these holding pins from this drive, the physical drive, over to the solid state drive. So the longest part of the whole process so far was taking these pins off of the other drive and putting them on this drive. So then it's just a matter of taking the connector, putting it back on, taking the drive, putting it down into the drive bay. Once it's seated back in place, take the bracket, put the bracket back in place, and screw it down. As you can see, it's not a long or difficult process at all. When the drive is back in place, it's a matter of taking the bottom of the notebook, placing it back, and putting back all the screws. We'll be back in a couple of minutes. With the bottom of the computer back on, the screws in tightly, it's time to turn over the computer and see if it boots up with the SSD drive. So the drive is in the computer. It's ready to go, and let's see what happens when I go to boot it up. Let's see how quick it is.
that's fast and quiet. So that's how you pull the drive from a new MacBook Pro and put in an SSD drive. This has been a Gear Diary how-to video.